All right, let's get to some wacky news. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do it. So we talked about this French soccer player. Got yeah, kicked I off. Hear what happened? He got kicked off. Are you a, are you a European no. No. football fan? No. No, I have a lot of family that are. It's the biggest sport in the world. Yeah. Most popular sport in the world. I, I am not either. Yeah. For those who are living outside of the United States of America, us, us Americans in the United States of America, we're not big European football fans. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. But people, it's the number one sport in the world. Yeah. And uh, my two favorite sports, by the way, American football and basketball. Same. Yeah. Yep. I find baseball boring. Oh, yeah. And hockey, I, just, I used to like hockey, playing I, it. hockey. I never got into. Oh yeah, no, I never. But got I love into. basketball. I love American football. Same. But this is European soccer. Uh, I like boxing too. Oh yeah, I could do yeah. boxing. Yeah. Um, French professional soccer team Lyon. Their number one player, Marcello. He was a 34-year-old defender from Brazil. He only has one name, Marcello. Marcello. That's it. <laughs> I, I even have two names, Uncle and Brad. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this guy has one name, Marcello. You have two names, Yo and Yo. This is true. All right, you're Yo Yo, right? <laughs> but he only has Marcello. Uh, he was thrown off the team, their number one player. Why? Because he was farting too much in the locker room. You've got to be kidding me. He, that's what I said. You've got to be kidding me. This guy is so gassy and so disgusting. That's, that's so nasty. That they took. They, <laughs> I can this tell is you, real? It's real. Yes, look. This is why he was so good. Nobody wanted to get near him. He had the ball. He had the ball. He just blow by everybody. Oh, so, so I, you know, what the announcers would say, oh, Marcello, he just blew by everybody. We didn't know what, the, what, what they really meant. What? We didn't know what they really meant, but he was really blowing by people. And they threw him off because he was farting too much. They called it inappropriate behavior, but the news is saying it was because he had too much flatulence in the locker room. I can tell you something. Can you imagine if we invited that guy in to be oh, a guest no, no. in our mm -mm. studio? We would definitely do it. We would definitely do it by Skype. Gas mask. We would not want. We would not want him <laughs> in the studio, right? Is that disgusting? Yeah, that's. That's not. That's not wacky. That's disgusting. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, we're going to go off to India, Jonathan. Okay. In India, there's a couple that is suing their son and daughter-in-law. By the way, I like what Jessica Leamy what? said. They probably wanted to kick him off the team for a long time. That's a BS reason. For, that makes for sense. farting? Yeah. Come on, farting well, and maybe, laughing. Maybe he's been farting for years, and they're like, I can't take nah, it anymore. No, it's got to be a deeper reason. I, I agree with you, Jessica Leamy. I agree. I don't know. Well, I'm going to let Jessica Kalimi do some investigation. Yeah. <laughs> Come back to us next week and see if uh -oh. you found out anything else. Right. What's going on with Marcello the Farter? <laughs> Meanwhile, a uh, couple in India are suing their son and daughter-in-law for not giving them grandchildren. There's such a lawsuit in India. In the petition, uh, according to CNN, the couple claim they spent 20 million Indian rupees, about $257,000, raising their only son, educating him, yet... He's been married for six years and never gave him a grandchild. Uh, in the lawsuit, it says they raised him, they educated him, they made him capable, made him a pilot, which was expensive. <laughs> they see other people in the neighborhood playing with their grandchildren, and they want grandchildren too. And according to the lawsuit, they even bought their son and daughter-in-law a car for their marriage. Oh, gosh. As a wedding gift. And they still have no grandchildren. And in India... According to my notes, it's sometimes a legal duty where parents can claim a monthly allowance from their adult children under an Indian federal law that seeks to protect parents and senior citizens who may not be able to take care of themselves. And although this lawsuit is very rare, the topic of family obligations has long been controversial in India, where carrying on the family line and caring for elderly parents and in-laws is often seen as a duty for the younger generations. What do you think, Yo-Yo? Thank God I'm not Ask in Ask Mama India. Yo Yo. No. Is there a lawsuit coming? <laughs> by Ma Mama Yo Yo is watching. Right. Okay. That's Mama Yo Yo, is there, a law is there a lawsuit coming against Thank Yo Yo God. for no kids? Thank God I'm not in India. <laughs> That's all I can say. And my brother just had a beautiful, beautiful girl. That is my niece. So 
my parents are okay for okay. a while. So, not, so Spar and Bernstein will not be getting a call from Baba Yo Yo no. for any litigation <laughs> at any time soon. Nah. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what else is here. Uh, La Lori Young. She was uh, browsing through a Goodwill store in Austin, Texas in 2018 when she found a bus for sale. She bought it for $34.99. Mm -hmm. When she got home, she realized she didn't buy some f you know, fake thing that was just made, but she bought an actual Roman head that was chiseled in the first century BC and was part of the Bavarian King's art collection from the 19th century until it was looted during World War II, the Bavarian king what? is Ger the German king before uh, Germany, you know, Adolf Hitler, and, uh, and eventually it got looted during World War II. How it got to Texas, nobody knows, <laughs> okay? But she got it. Wow. And then she contacted Sotheby's and Bonhams, which are two auction houses. They confirmed it was a real Roman bust worth presumably millions and millions and wow. millions and millions and millions of dollars. At a Goodwill? At Goodwill for $34.99. But the last laugh was on Laura Young. Why? Because it was a stolen bust. It turned out that it was a stolen bust, probably stolen by an American World War II veteran who brought it home after leaving Europe after World War II. Wow. How it got to goodwill, nobody knows. So because this was a looted art piece from World War II, it had to legally be returned to the Bavarian king, which is now the German government. And what? she lost out, at presumably, on millions and millions of dollars. They gave her a finder's fee, but she did not say what it was. Hmm. Do you think it was a good amount? Probably got a hundred thousand is my guess. I mean, that's better than that nothing, would be my though. guess. I have no idea, but that's what my guess would yeah. be. I, yeah. I I hope they hooked her up with something. Well, they they just they just that's uh, wild. Yeah. Can you imagine like now I, got I millions. Go to, oh right. no, I don't have millions. Now I want to go to uh, Goodwill <laughs> stores and just like start buying stuff. <laughs> I love. By the way, I love that show on PBS. Do you oh, ever yeah. see it? Road uh, yes. Antiques Roadshow mm -hmm, mm -hmm. where people where they, come like, in, bring people in come their in, stuff. Like, yeah, I found this in my attic yeah, but it was I, well what is this about i don't know my great-grandfather said he had it from the civil yeah, war yeah. and then they bring it in and like oh this is a picasso it's yeah. worth billions and yeah i saw one out. i saw one where it was like something that a queen from back 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 like centuries ago like she, it was a comb that she had and that like they had a whole story behind it i was like what and they had no idea they got it from like their parents or grandparents attic or something you know what i think this weekend i'm gonna go rummage through my parents basement <laughs> yeah i'm gonna see what the hell they got down see, there if i if my parents like we're from the United States yeah. and like they had stuff here. I would be all up in their attic. Yeah, my parents are from the United States. Yeah. My grandparents are See? from the United States. You never know. My great grandparents are from the United States. You they, never they know. They gotta have some crap down there that's worth something. I'm telling you. I'm gonna I'm go telling you. You should. Mm. I'm just, imagine, I'm just imagine, gonna go to Goodwill. Imagine <laughs> I come on Tuesday with glasses and a Roman bust sitting right there. <laughs> we're gonna start bringing everything we find <laughs> here. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.